So today we're going to look at the Logitech Pop Smart Button. Of course, looking for the Works with Apple HomeKit logo. This is always a great thing to have. And essentially, this is just a really big button. So we're going to see uh, what this looks like. I'm a little unsure about this product, to be honest. Uh, there are a lot of different other options for buttons out there, and I'm not quite sure at roughly $80 Canadian, so about probably 50 US. I don't know if this is gonna provide much value. So we're gonna see exactly what this is, how this works, and give it a run through, and I'll give, let you guys know what I think of it. Okay, nice box here. Got the button, um, so it looks like this is probably a bridge device, to be honest. We'll look at the setup guide quick and see how easy this is to set up. So, plug the pop bridge, yep, so it's a bridge. You're gonna be able to have multiple, um, multiple Logitech devices, like this little pop button here, will be able to connect to the single bridge. So that's probably the, uh, the price justification why this is a little bit more expensive is that this particular kit, this is the smart button kit, so this will include the bridge as well as the smart button. And this is big button. You can hear the clicking of it. So we're going to uh, plug the bridge in. HomeKit logo is on the side of this, which is okay. Um, looks like we've got some potentially some double tape, uh, double sided tape here from a mounting. Yeah, this is the mounting tape, so you could always just get some 3M mounting tape and put this on the back of this. You've also got the home kit logo um, and setup code directly on the packaging of the device, so I'm not sure how I like this. Um, I'm going to have to cut this out and put it with my other home kit logos and label it or something. But we're going to go over to the iPad now and uh, see what the setup looks like. So here we are on the iPad, and I wanted to add the Logitech Pop button to my home kit. So one of the things I always do first is just go to the App Store and make sure that I've got whatever vendor's device is their application, because um, there's always some little things. And what I found really interesting here is I go to Logitech Pop, suggestions come up, and I get a cookies flash. Okay, well maybe it's an iPhone only. So to be honest, I actually had to go to the Logitech support site and then search through till I found the support downloads for the Logitech Pop button and then click on the download on the App Store. So I was eventually able to find this and um, the trick is, is this is an iPhone only application. So it's actually not native iPad so I'm going to get that double sizing thing going on. So now that I've got this Logitech Pop added to my iPad, we're going to go over to the Home app and add the Logitech Pop bridge first and then see what happens once the bridge is loaded, what happens and what the setup is like for the button. So like always, we're gonna click on the plus button and add accessory, turn on Bluetooth, okay. Make sure that's turned on. So there we are, there's the Logitech, there's that bridge. Allow, uh, add ex accessory to networks. So this is gonna use the wireless simple configuration protocol. So we're going to say allow, and this is going to transfer over whatever the current settings are on my iPad over to the Logitech Pop Bridge. And there we go. This has now been added. So I am going to put the bridge in the kid's office. So that's where my, my Philips Hue bridge is, my Lutron bridge is, and that's where I put these things. So I'm going to click next. I don't want that included in my favorites because I really don't. There's nothing, to, nothing I need to do with the bridge, nothing I need to be aware of. If it dies, I lose access to the devices, and I'll know that. So click Next. So I've got a Logitech Pop white button. So this has been prepared, which is kind of nice. Um, and I am going to actually try this at the front door. So my, my use case that I'm going to try for the Pop button for now, I think might be the front door. Or actually, you know what? I'll, I'm going to put this in the living room because what I'm looking at the instructions, what's kind of cool about this is although it's a single button, it's um, depending on the how you press it, you can activate different scenes. So you can do a single click, a double click, or a long press. 
So we're gonna see what that looks like in the living room. I've got Philips Hue lights in there and I actually don't have a light switch. I have a motion detector, but you know, it's, uh, it's gonna give me a little more flexibility in that room. So I'm gonna include that in favorites and click done. There's my pop, there's my button. It's an unconfigured button. So we're gonna see what happens and what my actions are. So I've got a single press, a double press, and a long press. This is kind of cool. Single press, I want to say, um, let's put on living room bright. So that's something I always like to have there. Okay, so that scene's gonna be activated. In this case, that's just gonna turn all my living room lights up. Uh, double press is going to be movie time. And then the long press, if I hold it down all the way, this is going to mean I'm going to bed. So that will execute the good night. So there we go. Um, if I click on the icon button, no, I can't do anything there. So that's kind of cool. So we are in the pop button now, and I'm going to say Logitech Pop would allow, like to send me notifications. So I'm going to say allow. I will allow notifications. Simple button to control your smart devices. Tap once, twice, or long press. Create recipes that bring your home to life. Let's get started. So, got a setup. I'm already there, attempting to pair with the bridge. So what's interesting is this ha hasn't asked me to access my HomeKit data yet. It will be awesome when it's done. Well, that's good news. I was expecting awesome. Get ready to add your pop buttons. Let's program one pop button at a time. Simply press the center of a button just once. It's now connecting. I have pressed the button. Okay, here you go. This button is used in Apple uh, Home App. If added to pop, it will be removed from Home App and can be assigned to recipes in pop app only. Would you like to continue? No, I don't want to continue. I want to use this in um, only in the Apple home kit so that's kind of interesting um, this is the first vendor that I've seen that that uh, forces me to either have it in the vendors app or in home so this is uh, it's kind of a different new a new thing for me here um, not sure how I feel about that we'll we'll see what that looks like and, and I'll get back to you guys over time I'm actually liking this product so far. Um, the setup, obviously very, very easy. Far more flexible beyond a single press button, which is what some of the other products have. Um, I like it. I'll uh, test this out for, for a little bit and get back to you guys and see exactly what this looks like and, and what my experience is with this. But so far, it's definitely the, the easy home kit setup that you would expect. And uh, I like the fact that I have the three different presses to be able to execute different, um, different automations, different scenes in the environment.